Let's talk. They appreciate for the first time that Sphinx must be the most cherished disciple of Omar uh, because their master has gifted to him this most sacred of relics, yeah. They reverently touch the hem of Sphinx's caftan. They bow down to him now. Uh, yeah, fabulous silk turquoise caftan. And uh, after which they rise and oh, are honored to share that amber chillum. Uh, and as he bows out of the tea house, Bahram uh, whispers reverently, uh, O Egyptian, most intimate confidant of the master, we thought we had come to teach you, but by the grace of Dusty's private chillum, kindly give us guidance when we gather for the first last time tomorrow morning so that we may finally abide with Omar in the gist, mystic gateway leading to heaven. Sphinx sleeps deeply this night while his super mental angel correctly aligns his future behind the scene behind the screen. In the pre-dawn, Sphinx wanders over. Oxiana, bakery and tea house. Oh yeah, Jam, Jamshid, Bahram, Mahmoud, they're already there, waiting, and Aladdin. This is a special morning. This isn't a tarnished uh, tray. This is a highly polished, pure silver tray. He puts his teapots on. And he breaks out his best Salonese tea from the hills mm -hmm. of Darjeeling, huh? Okay. Um, the men focus. There's the brazier below their beds. Hand pressing, firing, watering. And then it is time. Sphinx tries his hand. His work refined. Eventually, he befriends the genie spirit of hashish. 20 minutes later, scrapes one gram off his raw and sore palm. John Sheet inspects it. Yeah, I mean, visually, Wow, the craftsmanship, beautiful breakthrough. Your hand-pressed hashish uh, appears to be Omar grade. But we must smoke it. Smoke your creation to gauge the high. Hmm. Well, uh, in the back room beyond, Beyond the inner room, uh, there's a trap door in the floor. It's got a uh, antique brass handle. Uh, they they pull up that door. They go under into a small chamber. The only thing is it in it is a uh, large stand-up hookah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a lad's private hideaway for VIP travelers from Mazar, Balk, and. Uh, like today, these Balkistanis, they never mix anything with the hashish. No tobacco, no marijuana, uh-uh. And uh, fresh water is poured into the base, the belly of the hookah. Mohammed briefly goes back upstairs and gets uh, some coals from Ali's fire with metal chimtas, or tongs, that yogis use. And then he comes back down and pl the hashish is in the, the hookah head of the pipe. He places the hot ember right on top of the hashish. Mm -hmm. And uh, they shut the trap door above them. Total black, except for the flames coming up from the hookah. Every time you smoke a pure hashish hookah that large, you're getting 
bright red fire that high. That's the light. Uh, and after his first hearty inhalation of his own creation, uh, Sphinx begins coughing and he quits. He falls back from the hookah pipe. Oh. That's when the Afghanis enlighten him. Uh, Egyptian, it's precisely when you start coughing, you must smoke more powerfully that you, you really get stoned. Or you've got to keep smoking while you're coughing. You've got to attack the pipe, Egyptian, like we attacked the British colonists who thought they could our country. Well, that didn't work out so good for them, did it? <laughs>